Hello. Welcome to Class of Healthy Bones and Balance. It's sponsored by the Amherst Senior Center and broadcast through Amherst Media. You may also find it on Amherst Media's YouTube channel. Perhaps that's how you came here. My name is Jamie Chernoff, and the course is designed for people of all levels of fitness. And you can, we'll use weights um, as we get stronger. You might be, you'll begin, I recommend a first class, just using your own fist and resist. Instead of using momentum and speed, we go slowly and work the muscles more. This is a good way to get a good workout. And as you get used to that, then you might add a one pound weight, two pound, three pound, and keep on going. We have people who've been working on this for years, like ourselves, and um, it feels good. It feels active and it's fun to do it together. We meet in live classes on Monday and Wednesday mornings at 10 o'clock on Zoom. You can call the main number for the Amherst Senior Center and get a referral for the link to the live classes. And now, let's begin. I've got sneakers on for safety, security, and shortly I'm going to add ankle weights, which are an option. But again, your first class, go, go slow. See what it feels like, and we'll begin right now with stepping in place marching in place and let your arms swing feel the crown of your head reaching toward the ceiling shoulder blades they're moving around but they're generally moving towards your spine lifting up feeling tall and erect and allowing the movement to raise your heartbeat a little bit and you can speed it up you can raise the knees higher or stay where you started. And now we'll toe tap, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. This knee's bent, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, and switch. We can go real like hee haw dance. Back to in place. It's good to have a chair handy. It gives you something to hold on to, to add to balance. And we'll take just one foot and tap it around in a half circle. Tap. This time as you get to the open, pause and lift that the inner edge of the foot up and the knee out. Working that inner muscle inner thigh and now switch um, tap return tip return return this time stay out there lift the knee bring the inner edge of the foot forward and breathe try not to sag into our standing leg and come down shoulder circles as we warm up the upper body, forward. Try to trace a circle around your shoulder at your maximum comfortable range of motion, inhaling up the back and forward, back, forward, back and forward. Interlace the fingers. Let's keep the hands moving, pulling on all the joints gently gentle and firm so interlace the fingers loosely and just wiggle your hands around as call this the roly-poly try to pull a little bit on each finger joint and then maybe give a good work to the thumbs and then flick from a gentle fist fingers go out firm and strong you can do lots of these these are good anytime. <laughs> Stand in your kitchen and it's kind of like calling forth miraculous powers or our own natural powers. 
So let's begin by taking a seat. And picking up the weight of your choice. I'm going to use these balls instead of a weight today. So how we set is important. Each weight exercise we do, we are really trying to use our whole body and use it correctly in alignment. Correct means just in alignment. It's not how it looks, but how it feels. So my knees are right over my ankles. 90 degrees here, shoulders right over the hips as we begin. And now I'm going to hinge forward, keep a straight back, tilted, reach the arms below. They're somewhere outside the calves. And then lift the elbows up. Let the lower arms just come with it for one, two. I'll take us through two sets of 12. That's three four, and you can stop at any time, five, you might alternate, six, seven, eight. Don't go any faster though because that robs you of the effort. Ten, eleven, and twelve. And pause. Maybe take the shoulders up to the ears and let them melt down. That's the way of relaxing. Inhale up and soften slowly. Let them come down completely. Inhale and maybe allow a little more dropping away. Back to the second set of seated row. Sitting straight, hinging forward. No bend in the lower back. Just a like folding two pieces of paper. Extending the arms. And then lifting the elbows up for one. I'll count in Spanish, dos. So we'll both remember that this is the second set. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Seis. Reach. Siete. Ocho. Nueve. Diez. Two more. Once. And doce. And come to erect. Put the balls down. And shake out your arms, shake out the hands. And come to standing for a, it's like a chairless chair seat. It's a squat. Inhale, take the hips back. So you have heavy pressure in the heels. And your hands might be here, here, or you can extend out and stand. We'll do this a few times. Squat back as if you were going to sit. Hips go back first. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight will hold if you can. Feel the weight in the heels. Take the belly in toward the spine and reach long from the tailbone right here through the crown of the head and come up. Maybe sway the hips a little bit side to side, bend the knees, and you can make a hip circle in one direction and in the other direction. And now we're going to pick up our weights for bicep. Almost every exercise can be done in the chair. And we do this so it's accessible to everyone. But you might prefer to stand. So I'll demonstrate most of the poses in the chair, but they're equally, almost all equally uh, effective when done standing. Inhale tall. 
exhale. So only my lower arms are moving and my palms are turned up. So I'm relaxing at the bottom. Then inhale, take my belly in, press the feet into the floor a little bit as my only bend at the elbow and come up slowly for two. And three. Four, inhale, five, inhale, six, inhale, seven, inhale, eight, slowly down, nine, Ten. Press lightly the feet into the floor as you come up. Eleven, and this is twelve, last one of the first set, and slowly down. You can rest your weights right here. Shake one hand out and then the other. You may notice that I'm using my regular weight in my left hand, but I'm using a rubber ball in the right hand. I have a short-term shoulder injury, so I'm um, not stressing it too much while I build back my strength. Second set. Twelve. Inhale. Eleven. Inhale. Ten. Inhale. Nine, eight. As I exhale, I also take my belly into the spine as I press my feet to the floor. Seven, it's the whole body part. Six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Inhale. Take a breath and put your weights down. And a little bit of a shake. We'll do a real stretch on those biceps later. And now I'm going to put on my leg weights. Many, many of the people who watch are actually the regular practitioners on Monday and Wednesday, and they tune in to the uh, YouTube tape to get in the third class a week, or in case they've missed one. So many of you will be putting on leg weights. Again, first timers, just feel what the exercise is like without the weights, and there'll be plenty of time to dig in with a higher resistance. So come to standing. So this is a standing exercise, but you can um, and probably should have the chair handy so you could lean on. We're going to work on one muscle in the leg by standing on the right, lifting the left, turning it in, and lifting it out to the side and coming back. Two. Inhale, three, inhale slowly back, press up against resistance and press in as if you're squeezing a big balloon, squeezing the air out. Three, inhale, four, inhale, five, six, seven, eight, nine, press into the standing foot so you grow taller as you go out, ten, eleven, and twelve. Bend one knee then the other for a little brief release and then we go on to the second set. En français, deux, inhale, 
3. Inhale. 4. Inhale. 5. Inhale. 6. 7. And keep turning that toe in so we really get the right ohms and do's. And you feel it both in the standing leg and the raised leg slightly differently. And we'll get a chance, of course, to do the other side. Inhale tall. Just draw up energy from the earth and from your inner core as you reach out and squeeze back in. Two. Inhale. Three. Inhale. Four. Inhale, five, six. So we inhale on out and uh, excuse me, exhale as we go out, inhale in, seven, and then inhale, slowly return, eight, inhale, nine, inhale, ten, Inhale, 11, and 12. Reach and return. Bend one knee, then the other. Feel all that pulls from the alternate outer hip muscles. And um, Italian, Italiano, uno for the second set. Due, inhale, tre. Inhale. Cuatro. Inhale. Cinque. Inhale. Se. Sete. Otto. Nove. Squeeze back. Dieci. Squeeze back. Undici. Squeeze back. And last one. Low the cheek. Squeeze back. Make you take your fists and kind of tap those outer thigh muscles. And we'll keep the weights on because we'll need them for a few more of our exercises. But this time we'll take a seat and use, um, well, I'll do my one and one. It's a little funny looking. Um, but I want to keep moving safely through an injury. So this is what we call marionette. It's um, as if our hands were being pulled up by the elbow and wrist. And down. So when you're up, you want to have elbow at a right angle and the shoulder, wrist, and elbow all at the same height. We'll do two sets of ten. Three. Inhale, exhale, four, inhale, in. Exhale, five, pulling the belly in, inhale. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, well, one set of 12, 12, pause, and shoulders up, and drop away, up to the ears, drop away, second set, this time only 10, we'll start with 10, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wait, 
down, hand bites down, and shake the arms up. It feels good to give a little massage all the way up the shoulders, upper arms. And um, let's press the palms together and then keep the fingers uh, pressing tight, but they take the heels of the hands away. And then we go this way and this way. And press one hand out like a stop sign and pull back lightly with the, against the upper fingers for a wrist stretch and then switch. And now we'll do stand up, sit down, which is one of the classic measures of uh, strength and fragility for daily life. So I'm going to use a timer for this. Um, <clears throat> so we'll do it for 30 seconds. And I am start at the chair, and I'm going to stand up completely and sit. And my, I gotta really want to let my weight of my hips and torso hit the chair, not squatting. I'm really letting it letting myself down to the chair and then taking more effort to get up. And I'm going to do this um, as many as I can in the 30 seconds. I'll count my own, you count your own, and it's a figure to say, okay, that was where I was last week. Next week I might be the same or more. So when I say begin, you'll just stand up and sit down and I'll call out at the end of 30 seconds. Ready? And Five more seconds. Keep going. You can do it. Get to your personal best. 30. Ah. Now you can feel that's a little cardio in the midst of things. And then we'll take a little resting stretch. Reaching my feet out. See that I'm not going to slip off the chair. And maybe put my hands behind my head. You might put your feet flat on the floor to be secure and Just like you're taking a day at the beach. <laughs> Feels good. Feel the stretch in your whole torso and come up. And we move on to overhead press. So take, I think I'm going to use two balls here. This is, again, an exercise that we all sit. We hold our weights or our balls near our shoulder. Inhale, and I'm going to press up as if I'm putting something on a shelf and then bringing it slowly back for one. So when you're using balls, you really, you know, the hands will just float up unless you press with resistance. The power of your mind to imagine like a really heavy two by four you're lifting up. Three. And then you're even bringing it down so it's heavy for coming down. Four. Inhale. Five. Inhale. Six. Inhale, seven, inhale, eight, inhale, nine, inhale, and ten, inhale. Let's pause. We'll do two sets of ten here. Maybe it feels good to shake your arms out. 
before returning to the starting position. Inhale, press the feet into the floor and uh, Anna, counting in Greek. I've got four, <laughs> counting to ten and four. Vio. Tria. Inhale. Tessera. Inhale. Bende. Inhale. Exi. Inhale. Epta. Inhale. Wokto, inhale. Enea, inhale. Veka, inhale. Enveka, go all the way to 12. And Vodaka, and slow, slow return. <sighs> Put the balls or weights down. Have a little um, uh, finger, thumb over index finger, and again with pressure, flick one finger at a time. And now, actually, we're doing a seated exercise again. This is, can only be done seated. It's a leg extension. It's similar to a machine in the gym that you do to, and there you're like lifting up a bar. Here, after time, we've got a weight on. So we're extending the right leg, reaching with the heel long, and then slowly bringing it back. At, when we're and pointing and flexing the toe at its height, just to slow things down a little. Inhale tall, right leg reach with the heel, point, flex, and slowly return to the floor. Two, inhale, three, keep your torso erect, four, five, six, inhale. Exhale for seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We'll go on to the next set in a moment, second. Um, if you don't have a ball, you can just use your fist or something, you know, could squeeze it, bolt, rolled up washcloth. Um, but we don't use weight because we're concentrating on the legs with the weights. Second set. January with a circle of the ankle. February. Inhale. March. April. Circle. Return. May. June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Tap, just kind of a massage and release. And I would say, I've been doing these exercises for years, and I can say it, it doesn't get boring because I'm constantly, or you know, every, I don't know, four to six months, I'm upping, up my, upping my weight so that it's, it's always challenging. And that's what the body, what the bones, what causes bone growth is new challenges to the bones. And that's the research that's uh, on which the finding that this exercise really does help build bone density. Stand up tall, sit up tall, and left leg, reach with the heel, point, flex, and return. Some of you might be just stretching it out on the floor and lifting it an inch, point, flex, and return. Three, inhale, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and count. Second set with the ankle circle. Inhale. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Reach. Seis. Siete. Ocho. Nueve, diez, once, doce, and tap. We have one more coming up with a leg weight, so we'll keep those on and pick up one weight for uh, the tricep stretch that we do once at a time. So this can be done like this on seated at the chair or or standing with the front leg forward in either case the hands in the beginning on the left side the left hand is holding the weight at the left hip roll the shoulder upper shoulder back and leave the upper arm where it is as you Lift the weight to extend the arm and return. Two, inhale. Three, inhale. You can modify it if you're up, standing up, it's a little less intense. Four, five, inhale. Six, inhale. Seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Pause. Wait. Shake your hand out if you've got a heavy weight. And second set. Uh. <laughs> Deux. Trois. The belly in at the same time. Quatre. Think. Cease. Enough. These. Two more. <clears throat> Ons. Dudes. And you switch the weight to the other hand. <clears throat> Again, with my right hand, I'm using the ball now. <clears throat> and. <clears throat> Maybe take a little reverse stretch, shoulders, and then <clears throat> bend the front knee, weight, a fist at the um, right hand, right hip, and inhale and extend. One, inhale, two, inhale, slowly back, three, inhale, four. Inhale, five, six, seven, eight, inhale, nine, ten, keeping the elbow high, and twelve, inhale, break, shake, Flick, and again, 12, 11, slow return, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, and one. Slow return. Great. Let's take that out. Now we have our last um, leg weighted leg exercise. And this is <clears throat> backward brace. Our glutes are powerful butt muscles and the, and the hamstrings are so important to our, our walking, our moving, our taking hills, our standing from a bent line position. So here's a place where we really concentrate on them. Standing on the right, take the left back, still touching the floor, and then lifts. And you feel strong contraction right there. You put your hand on it and just feel two. And then we lift, squeeze, and return. Three, inhale back. You can also be right here, take it just an inch off, or lift. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, slide, lift, Ten, slide, lift, eleven, slide, lift, or twelve. Pause, bend the knees, calf stretch, and second set, left side. Uno, dos, slide, lift, cuatro. Slide, lift, seis, slide, lift, ocho, slide, lift, diez, slide, lift, and last one, dulce, last one on the left side, and Actually feels good here to take a, uh, like a forward fold. Again, back stays straight always in our work. And we lift the sit bones, keep the knees bent a little bit of shoulder blades together. And this is stretching exactly these muscles. Feels delicious. And we'll do the right leg. I'm just moving the chair so it's more visible to the camera. No need to move. Inhale, tall. Take the stand on the left leg now, and the right slides back and lifts. Action there. Two. Inhale. Three. Inhale. Four. Inhale. Five. Squeeze, seven, lift, slide, lift, nine, slide, lift, eleven, and twelve. First set, sort of hang on those calf muscles. Feels good. We'll do some more work with our feet in a moment. One more of this. Um, <clears throat> slide, lift, inhale. Slide, lift, inhale. So 10 going backwards. Nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Keep your power for the last one. One. Good job. 
makes you feel strong. Might make you feel tired, but it also makes you feel strong. And let's put our hands lower on the chair, or maybe you'll come further down to your hands on the legs. And it feels delicious undoing. So while we're <laughs> down here, you can take off your leg weight, or you can wait till you're seated in a chair. And great. Still have some balancing and um, chair um, well we can do a chair um, sort of a plank position or this can be done against the wall so I'm putting resting my hands on the chair taking my legs back this you got to have a very stable chair and it's a really good core exercise and you could do it with one leg if it's the first time, do one leg, one leg forward. Big stretch in the back of the leg. And come in. So now we're going to do some balancing exercises. I mean, a lot of our weight work is balancing in a way because we're lifting one leg and so forth. But this is a focus on... First, let's exercise our feet coming up on the balls of the feet and down. And then lean into the heels and lift the, lift the balls. Slowly transitioning. And now we're going to go up slowly to a count of four and then stay up. Four, three, two, one. Hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, down, two, three. So you can see I was trying to balance and then I needed the chair and it was right there. And that's the way we do balance. So you don't always stay up there, but you keep refinding it. You just keep coming back. So inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, down, two, three three, four, and then just pedal, bending one knee and then the other as you lift the heel and, and now we'll do something like a tree pose, a one-legged stand for a 30 second of balance and you'll find it and you'll lose it. So got a chair handy or a wall I'm going to stand on the, in my left leg with near the chair, lifting the right. And I might be right here where my toe is actually touching the floor, the tip of the toe, and the heel's pressing into just above my ankle. And press this hip in so I'm not slouching here, pressing in upright. And then we'll go for 30. You might be right here at the calf, knee opening out, or higher up still. But the idea is, is balance. So ready? Let's go. Use your hands as much as you need to. Imagine you're holding a balance pole. Feel like you're getting tall from standing foot to the crown of the head, and that's 30 already. Wiggle, and we'll do the other side. So enjoy your two feet for a minute, and then lift, plant, and begin. You might press your hands together, sometimes that helps. Pressing to the midline, pressing your hips, squeezing your hips in while emphasizing this long vertical heel to head line.
and the 30. Good work, good work. Now we have some delightful stretches. Open your knees wide and maybe reach down to the ankles. You only reach as far as you can tip your pelvis this way so your sit bones are lifting up and you're not having any bending in the lower back, over stretching. You could be right here, elbows on the knees. And as you open up, you might come further. My hands to the floor. It's just a nice inner groin stretch. You can press your elbows against your inner knees and then come up. Take arm across and this is like a, a shoulder stretch. Sort of pulls at the and you're going to resist between the two arms. And while you're being in that stretch, just you don't need to close your eyes, but you can sort of have your eyes go in, feeling the opening up in the spaces that are being stretched, and release, and other arm, and hug and then resist the two arms. Feel the pull of the back of the left shoulder this time. And release the hands for a moment and swivel on your chair into a, a stretch for the quads, big muscles in the front of the thighs, so I have a 90 degree in each knee bend. In other words, this knee is right under my hip and this ankle is right under that knee. Back toes are curled under and right here I'm already feeling a stretch and I can, if that's not enough, I could try a little more leaning back with a straight torso. You can hold on to the chair. If you're going way back, you could lean your hand against the heel. So when we stretch, we're engaging and firming the muscles that are stretching to make it a safe stretch. So I'm reaching to the floor with my back knee. It doesn't get there, but I'm reaching there. I'm pressing into the back heel. So when we work the muscles, we tighten. And so at the end, we want to expand them out again. So swiveling around, same position. Left leg is perpendicular to the floor and and come up and we'll have a quad stretch. Actually, you could even do that if you want to stay, keep in that position, but the right arm is up, bend at the elbow and then press with the left hand, press the elbow down so it's really like plugging into that socket joint and then you could press it back a little bit. And through the stretching, we wanna avoid holding the breath as much as when we're exercising. The breath is what keeps bathing us with energy and you could switch sides and switch elbows. And reach up with both and let them float down. This needs a little help there. And we'll take a moment to just be with our kind of humming bodies, warmed and working. Let the shoulders drop. Take them up to the ears and then let them just melt really slowly. We also practice how to really release. Let's drop, drop, drop. 
take the chin over towards the right shoulder. Just press against the your stopping point there. It's going to play around there. Allow the left to open up, left shoulder dropping down, and then float back to the middle. And take the chin to the left shoulder. Full and easy breaths and floating back to the center. Right ear to right shoulder. With the inhale, feel that you're just like massaging the left side of the neck with your breath. Inhale up, chin down, just let it hang there, lengthening the back of the neck. Come back up and left ear to left shoulder. Try not to bring the shoulder to it. Just let the head and ear drop with gravity. Well, we still relaxing the shoulders down. And inhale up. So I hope it's been a good workout for you too and that you'll join us again on YouTube or one of our live classes. So here's to stronger bones and more enjoyment in life through movement. Thanks.